dog awesomeness of a dizzy and ridgeback cooper out for a bit of a cycle ride in the woods we have here Milton Country Park's wildest end, the Willows uh, southwest edge it's pretty funky this bit it's uh, kind of, it's not that wet it's wet enough to bring out a kind of swampy environment it's full of dead branches it's a good place for um, wild running, kind of dash and run, navigate the obstacles type of stuff. Now I'm in two. And it's a great place to come exploring, get a dog off lead. Well, I walk dogs off lead as much as possible because that's fun and uh, you get to train that way. If the dog's always on the lead, you don't get to do recall, you don't get to do manners, you don't get to do geniality. Good dog behaviour, good dog attitude. Getting the bike over this, lots of hassle. I think I'll leave it here. We'll do a bit of walking. Definitely going to get my bike nicked up here. Famous last words. This is Cambridge after all. Find me a person who doesn't have a story of a bike getting stolen. <laughs> and me and Cooper are just out checking out the view. I think Cooper. He kind of does this ponderous mode where he kind of looks around. He's kind of like scouting out. Where are we? Where's the deer? That kind of thing. What's going on here? Dogs are... Uh, environmental awareness is a pretty funky thing. They seem to be quite... Well, we might have got used to a civilization. I'm thinking straight lines and where am I going? I think the dog thinks more in terms of what can it hunt and where's the danger and what's interesting here and it's a bit more in touch with their environment. This is all cool stuff. Although you're half civilised, aren't you? Half domesticated. Big puppy, really. He is a big puppy. <laughs> a really big puppy. <laughs> Hilarious that this uh, giant, powerful muscular loping hound is just a puppy dog in his head he's a big puppy that's a lot of puppy you can imagine a six-year-old boy with uh, 50 kilos of that kind of shape checking it around <laughs> he's gonna be a bit of a run around uh, chasing the dogs not seeming to appreciate that they don't want to play he's just like play 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 does he uh is that his game? If you won't play with me, I'm gonna play with you. <laughs> I don't think he's mean. I don't think he has a bad bone in his body. But I think he could be that naughty. Hey, well, you know, if you're not playing, I'm afraid you are. <laughs> well, uh, Cooper, no. <sighs> That's not how we behave when comes dog walks. So, uh, gotta be nice, gotta be fun. <laughs> If you're not those two things, then you know you're not really paying. And if you're not paying, are you getting to work? No. Dog does a bit of obedience training with you and uh, shows you what happens if you're not nice. And I'll be paying your bum, says dog. And uh, that'll teach you to be no fun and all my obedience. So I did learn nice, buddy. Tries it on, I'm gonna go and play with this dog and I don't let him play with dogs unless uh, they're happy to play. I try and get him games as much as I can. That's the owner. So your dog up for a game, I really wanna get this one some fun. We'll get games that way. Retriever was totally totally confident. No no fear whatsoever. Cooper and two big labs and just in the middle of mobs bounding around and all fun and games, and he got his chase. But if, if they're there, I can't establish that they want to play. I asked the owners, and they're not keen on it, or dogs seem shy, then we don't do it. I'm convincing Cooper that uh, we're not playing with that dog. I, I can do it now. He does leave the dogs alone, I say, no, no, come here. And he, he does. It's really good. He was kind of one of my trial by fire dogs when I was just walking them. Like it's just a walk and discovered that actually you need to do a bit more than just walk. 
need to figure your dogs out and work with them. And he was bounding off a couple of hundred meters to go and play with a dog, whether they wanted to or not. And the matter of time before that turned into a fight. And one of my owners said to me, when that thing turns, you're going to know about it. And I thought, yeah, we're dizzy and ridge back in a full fury. Oh, I don't want to see that. Exciting, I'm sure it is. I think it would be a bit too much. Not what I want to deal with. Not good for other people's dogs. Not good in any way. So far, I need to work with this dog. And uh, I figured something out of him. If he's um, playing with another dog, playing, but uh, in a way they don't like, then I, um, I'll get loud. I'm charging. No, no, no. Grab him off. Give him a little slap over the nose. Never hit a dog. Never violent. I tried slapping my arm as hard as I could uh, with just the fingertips, which is what I do with a dog when they're really, you know, really upsetting another dog and I need to get them. No, you're not doing that. I couldn't actually hurt myself with it. It's kind of like it kind of stung but didn't sting, if you get what I mean. It's like a blow but not even as bad as a stinging nettle. It didn't upset me at all. But I think the dogs. They will take it seriously, like, whoa, he's hit me. And if you're loud enough and kind of demanding enough, they might just go, ah, oh, I'm on the bad side of dog walker now. <laughs> and I uh, try and make sure my good side is really worth it. I'm a real pal. I think they go, okay, I'm going to choose that. The turns are... The turns are... You know, the deal is uh, compelling enough and the dog's on your side. So we do a whole load of nice, don't we, Coops? And we get you your games, and we do treats and cuddles and all that. And then we do a bit of a, a bit of demand when it becomes pressing, and I need that kind of authority. And I think we're doing pretty good, actually. You're gonna have a ride, are you? This is life. Wild woods, mountain bikes, and with his image backs. <laughs> hey. Well, there you go. Let's coop up. Let's go do a bit more of our walking, eh? A bit more riding. Okay, yeah, Billy. Say bye, Coops. Bye. Coop up. <whistles> What's over there, then, eh? Potential muntjack, I think. Something worth chasing. Ooh. Keep an eye out. <laughs> See you later, buddy.